Good afternoon, Namaskar. I, Kriti Vadhera, would like to welcome all the teachers, learners, educators, students to CIT and CRT's live phone program. And you are watching us live on PME Vidya's channel number 9. This session is going to be for standard 9 students. Mathematics is the subject which we will be taking up in next 30 minutes for you. And the chapter which we are going to discuss is going to be polynomials. It's a follow-up session of this particular chapter. It's the fourth follow-up session. We have already had three earlier sessions with a... Uh, uh, our expert who's joining us today, I would like to introduce Mrs. Usha Pillai. She's joining us from Bhopal Campion School. I welcome you, Mrs. Pillai, for today's session. Thank you. And before we start with today's uh, live interaction program, I would like to remind you viewers here that if you have any questions, any queries, then please do let us know. You can dial on our toll-free number. Uh -huh. Number would be double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. To watch the live streaming of this program, then kindly log into our official YouTube channel, which is NCRT official, and there also in the live chat box, you may send all your suggestions and questions to us. Certainly, we will be taking up all of them in the last segment of today's program. There is one more medium through which you can contact us. Kindly mail all your suggestions and questions to dth.class9 at ciet.nic.in. So let's begin with today's mathematics session on polynomials. I welcome you again, Mrs. Pillay. And I would like you to proceed on uh, fourth follow-up session of polynomials. So, good afternoon all of you. In the last session, we had already studied about algebraic identities from polynomials. So, we have discussed about the identities and uh, to, done some applications of identities in some of the questions. So, today I am repeating that identities already we have studied that a plus b the whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and a minus b the whole square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square and x plus a into x plus b equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. And last we used a plus b plus c the whole square equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. And some applications we have studied. So we can start with the, the remaining portion. That is, first if x plus 1 by x equal to 12, find x square plus 1 by x square. We can apply the identities we have already studied. We have already studied the identity a plus b the whole square that is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So here also a is x and b is 1 by x. We have to find x square plus 1 by x square. So a plus b the whole square that is x plus 1 by x the whole square equal to x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2x into 1 by x that is 2ab. So now we can substitute the values x plus 1 by x equal to 12. So 12 square equal to x square plus 1 by x square plus 2. When we are calculating, 12 square is 144. 144 minus 2 equal to x square plus 1 by x square. Therefore, we can say x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 142. Already we learned how to apply these first two, four, five identities. From that only as a revision part, this question I had given. The next is, if x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 38, find x minus 1 by x. Now, at which identity we can use? Here, we have to find x minus 1 by x. So, we can use the identity m minus b the whole square equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. That is x minus 1 by x the whole square equal to x square plus 1 by x square minus 2x into 1 by x. Here also we can substitute the values. We are given x square plus 1 by x square as 38. We can substitute the value here 38 minus here x and x is cancelled so minus 2 that is 38 minus 2 is 36. Therefore we can say x minus 1 by x equal to root of 36. Answer is 6. 
Now coming to the next identity, a plus b the whole cube and a minus b the whole cube, we can solve some questions. Here the first question is 2x plus 3 the whole cube. Here we can use the identity a plus b the whole cube equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Here in the question we are given a as 2x and b as 3. So how to use it? 2x plus 3 the whole cube equal to a cube that is 2x the whole cube plus b cube is 3 cube plus 3a square b that is 3 into 2x the whole square into 3 plus 3ab square that is 3 into 2x into b square is 3 square. When we are solving 2x the whole cube 2 into 2 into 2 is 8x cube plus 3 cube is 3 into 3 into 3 that is 27 plus here 2 square is 4 4 3 are 12 into 3 that is 6x square plus 3 into 2 6 3 square is 9 6 into 9 is 54x in this way we can evaluate the values of the this type of questions by using a minus b the whole cube we can solve the next question a minus b the whole cube is a cube minus b cube minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square the question is 998 whole cube that is equal to we can write 998 as 1000 minus 2 the whole cube so here we can use this identity a minus b the whole cube where a is 1000 and b is 2 1000 cube minus 2 cube minus 3 a square b 3 into 1000 square into 2 plus 3 into 1000 into 2 square when we are solving 1000 cube is written 2 cube is 8 then 3 into 2 6 into 1000 square plus 4 3 is 12,000 when we are solving this we get the answer as 99 crore crores 40 lakh 11,992. Here, the, here you have to do the calculation carefully. By simple mistakes, you can get the wrong answer. So, easily we can solve this by using. Without multiplying three times, we can easily find the answer of 998 cube by the identity A minus B the whole cube. Now, coming to the next part. By using the same identities, how can we factorize quotients? Here we are given 27 minus 125a cube minus 135a plus 225a square. We can check this identity we can use here. In this form it is given. We can get 27 as 3 cube minus 125a cube as 5a the whole cube minus if we are applying 3a squared b and 3ab square we get the 4, that is 3 into 3 squared into 5a plus 3 into 3 into 5a the whole square. We get minus 135a plus 225a square here. So, it is in the form a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. That is the identity we learn, that is a minus b the whole cube. When practicing, we can have the factors. We can write it as 3 minus 5a the whole cube. So, for factorization, we can write the answer in the product form. That is 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a. So, next is p cube plus 1 by 8 plus 3 by 2 p square plus 3 by 4 p. Now, we can check the form. Here also, p cube is given. That 1 by 2 the whole cube is given. 3a square b plus 3ab square. That is, we can write the identity a cube plus b cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square as a plus b the whole cube. So, here the answer is p plus 1 by 2 the whole cube that is p plus 1 by 2 into p plus 1 by 2 into p plus 1 by 2. We have to write in the product form always. So, the next is. Factor is 8x cube plus 125y cube. How can we write this? This as 2x the whole cube is 8x cube 
and five eighth of whole cube is one twenty five y cube. So which form is given here? A cube plus b cube. What is the identity of a cube plus b cube in the factorization form? This is the next identity we study. A cube plus b cube equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. So how can we write the given first? 2x the whole cube plus 5y the whole cube. That is a is 2x and b is 5y. So a plus b. That is 2x plus 5y into a square minus a b plus b square. That is 2x the whole square minus 2x into 5y plus 5y the whole square. So we can write the answer as 2x plus 5y into 2x the whole square is 2 into 2, 4 x square minus 2 5 star 10 x y plus 5 by the whole square 5 into 5 is 25 y square so the factor form is 2 x plus 5 by into 4 x square minus 10 x y plus 25 y square in the next part we are given m cube minus 343 n cube we can write it as m cube minus 7 and the whole cube which identity we have to use here is a cube minus b cube equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. Here a is m and b is 7n. So we can substitute the identity values of a and b here. That is a minus b is m minus 7n into a square plus a b plus b square. That is m square plus m into 7n plus 7n the whole square. So, by solving, we get m minus 7n into m square plus 7mn plus 7 square is 14n n square. So, any question of this form, we can factorize a cube plus b cube or a cube minus b cube is given. We can use these identities a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. And a cube minus b cube equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. Now, moving to the next question. By using another identity, we can factorize this type of questions. 125 a cube plus b cube plus 1 minus 15 a b. Here we are given in the form. 5a the whole cube plus b cube plus 1 cube minus 3 into 5a into b into 1 that is a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc. In the identities I already explained what is the precision form of this identity that is equal to a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca. So, by applying this identity, here a equal to 5a, b equal to b itself, and c is 1. So, we can write 5a plus b plus 1 into 5a the whole square plus b square plus 1 square minus 5ab minus 5 into 1, b into 1 minus 1 into 5a. That is, the answer is 5a plus b plus 1 into 25a square plus b square plus 1 minus 5ab minus b minus 5 Now, from this identity, applying this identity, we can solve next question, verify that x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xy z equal to half into x plus y plus z into x minus y the whole square plus y minus z the whole square plus z minus x the whole square. So here RHS is like this. So we can solve RHS first. How can we solve this RHS? In the second bracket, we are given x minus y the whole square. Here we can use the identity a minus b the whole square. That is a square plus b square minus 2ab that is half into x plus y plus z into here x minus y the whole square is x square plus y square minus 2xy plus 
y minus z the whole square is y square plus z square minus 2yz plus z minus x the whole square is z square plus x square minus 2xz. So how can we solve it? Half into x plus y plus z into x square plus x square is 2x square plus 2y square plus 2z square minus 2xy minus 2yz minus 2zx in all the term when 2 is given as the common factor so in the second part we can take a 2 as common factor and we get half into x plus y plus z into 2 into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx 2 and 2 cancelled and if we get the answer as x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xy z. It's the LHS. We have already used the identity we learned in the last question. Now, in the next question, applying the next identity of the condition of this identity, find the value of following without calculating cubes. We have not to calculate the cubes. How can we find the sum of these cubes? Here we are given minus 12 cube plus 7 cube plus 5 cube. First we have to find the sum of these numbers a plus b plus c. What is a in this question? Minus 12. b is 7 and c is 5. When we are adding a, b and c, we get minus 12 plus 7 plus 5 that is minus 12 plus 12 is 0. When a plus b plus c is 0, we can use the identity a cube plus b cube plus c cube equal to 3abc. Now, minus 12 the whole cube plus 7 cube plus 5 cube equal to that is a, b and c here minus 12 is a, b is 7 and c is 5. So, we can multiply 3 into A into B into C, that is 3 into minus 12 into 7 into 5, that is minus 1260 is the answer. Plus into minus is minus, so we get the answer as minus. Now, in the next question, same type of question, mark, but we are given x minus y the whole cube plus y minus z the whole cube plus z minus x the whole cube. And also it is given in the form a cube plus b cube plus c cube. That is, first we had to find a plus b plus c. That is x minus y plus y minus z plus z minus x. All the terms are cancelling, so we can say it is equal to zero. So a cube plus b cube plus c cube equal to three abc. This identity we just studied. So when we are finding x minus y the whole cube plus y minus z the whole cube plus z minus x the whole cube, we get the answer in the form 3a, b, c. Here a is x minus y, b is y minus z and c is z minus x. So the answer is 3 into x minus y into y minus z into z minus x. So Next, find the length and breadth of the rectangle whose area is 25a square minus 35a plus 12. Suppose you are given a rectangle and the area is given. Area of a rectangle, kya formula use karte? Area of a rectangle equal to length into breadth. So, this area we have to write it in the form length into breadth. How can we get length and breadth? By factorizing this polynomial, we get two terms. Then we can write it as length into breadth. So how can we factorize this 25a square minus 35a plus 12? Here we have to multiply the coefficient of a square and the constant term. That is 25 into 12. We get the answer as 300. And we can write the factors of 300 as 50 into 20. 
but we need minus 35 in the middle term and multiplication plus 300 so minus 35 minus 15 into minus 20 is plus 300 and you minus 15 plus minus 20 is minus 35 so we can split the middle term as minus 15a minus 20a right that uh, and before uh, with that i would like to remind you mrs pillay here that we are moving towards the last minutes of today's program so i would like uh, to request you to wind up your presentation yes so 5a into 5a minus 3 minus we can take common factor as 4 so minus 4 is common factor so 5a minus of minus is plus 12 so minus 4 into minus 3 is plus 12 so here, 4, 5 a minus 3 into 5 a minus 4 is the answer. So this can write written as length into breadth, where length is 5 a minus 3 and breadth is 5 a minus 4. If a, b, c are all non-zero and a plus b plus c equal to 0, prove that a squared upon b, c plus b squared upon c, a plus c squared upon a, b equal to 3. How can we solve this? We are already given a plus b plus c is equal to 0. So we can write the identity a q plus b q plus c q equal to 3 a b c. So in this question, we can take the LCM of the denominators. So we got the LCM as a b c. Here b c is given. So we have to multiply it by a. We got a q. Here b is not given. So multiply by b. So b q plus c q. We are already written. That is a cube plus b cube plus c cube. That is 3 abc. That is 3 abc upon abc equal to 3. abc and abc cancel. Hence, we can prove this type of questions. Now, the last part is if root m plus root n minus root p equal to 0, find the value of m plus n minus p the whole square. Here we are given root m plus root n minus root p equal to 0. So we can take root p on right side, root m plus root n equal to root p. Squaring both sides, we get root m plus root n the whole square equal to root p the whole square. That is a plus b the whole square. a square plus b square plus 2ab equal to root p the whole square. Root m the whole square is m. Root n the whole square is n. 2 root m n equal to root p the whole square is p. So we can transfer transpose p on left side and 2 root m n on other side. We got m, m plus n minus p equal to minus 2 root m n. If we are squaring both sides, we get the answer m plus n minus p the whole square equal to minus 2 root m n whole square. That is minus 2 the whole square is 4 and root m n. The whole square is m. Thus, we can find the values by using all these 11 identities. And if we are already studied 11 identities, we can substitute and apply this in solving some of these type of questions in any chapter. And uh, uh, with this, we come to the end of polynomials part four, the uh, session's end. And if anything is left, uh, because it's quite a long chapter, so we will be certainly taking up in next follow up sessions. And for today's session, I would like to uh, give a uh, thanks to Mrs. Pillay for joining us today. Thank you, Mrs. Pillay. Thank you. And we will remain connected to PME with there because in the next webinar, we will be talking about cyber safety for you. So remain connected, don't go anywhere. We are coming back just in a short while.